five young athletes here in the Midlands are looking to put male gymnast, gym, gymnasts that is, on the map, and they're doing so by being the best. News 19's Chandler Mack has their story. It's no secret gymnastics is considered by many to be a female sport, and the numbers, they back that up. In the gymnastics state championships this year, 2,600 girls competed in South Carolina, while only 200 athletes competed on the boys side. But a male gymnastics team right here in the Midlands is looking to turn those stats upside down. Precision, concentration, Good. determination. These are just some of the qualities that make a gymnast successful. All gymnastics is really tough to do, but it's really rewarding, and I think it's a really good sport to grow up with. Asher Wokorka, as well as his teammates Calder, Tristan, Dalton, and Wyatt, look like normal teenagers. But when the five young men step into the Lake Murray Gymnastics Center, they flip the script. Yeah, I just think to myself to just do what I've been doing at practice, do what I know, don't change anything, and just go to do my best and I don't really get put down if I do bad that just pushes me to do better next time. For some of them gymnastics has been a part of their lives since they were able to pick up their first piece of chalk. Well I started like the mommy and me classes and the rec classes around nine ten months old. Others had more complex journeys to the mat. My mom took me to gymnastics first because one day when she left the room, I had climbed the cabinets and like when I was two years old. And so she said this, he should probably try something active. So she took me to gymnastics and I've done it ever since. Being together for almost a decade, the boys, along with their head coach, Brian Keith, have helped springboard the program into new heights, becoming one of the best teams along the East Coast. Last month, they were able to show off that improvement at the regional championships in Fort Lauderdale, where all five of the boys qualified for the national tournament, making history by becoming the first male gymnast from Lake Murray to make it to nationals. It, it makes me feel very special because the fact that that's never happened before, and um, it's definitely something I'll remember because it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty big achievement, and I'm proud of myself, and I'm proud of all my teammates for making it. I was excited. I, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't really know what to think. It was just an exciting thing to know that you were able to be accepted. Accepted as some of the best young gymnasts in the country, beside each other. To the boys, a prize that was bigger than a trophy or a medal. Having my team there was great. It wouldn't have been like as much fun, or wouldn't been, have been the same atmosphere had I been by myself at Nationals. I mean, I can go back and watch old videos of these kids when they were like four, five, six years old, just looking like a fun little hot mess, bouncing around like, you know, like wild little kids. And, you know, and then they put in the time, they put in the work, they put in, you know, everything they can. Blood, sweat, tears, they're here a lot of time. It was a big win for them to make it. Now that they've tasted success, whether they're using their feet to walk or their hands, the team is already gearing up for their next trip to the national stage. Coming away from this meet, I feel like, you know, it, it, it sets the tone for going into the next season. And they're fired up, they're ready to, they're ready to hit the next thing and, you know, do the next, do the next drill up and keep moving up the levels and go back to nationals again next year. While the average teenager may still gravitate to other sports, the team hopes its story can serve as an inspiration, letting people know that gymnastics is flipping awesome. Men's gymnastics is really an underrated sport and it takes a lot of effort and training and strength and it really is a very difficult sport but it's also very fun and very rewarding. While their season has ended, the work hasn't stopped for the boys as they will participate in various camps and conditioning training this summer. Reporting in the studio, Chandler Mack, News 19, WLTX. All right, Chandler, thank you. If you'd like to learn more about the team, you can do so by heading to our website tonight. That's WLTX.com.